Hello students, today we are going to um, start on page 32, unit B, B1. So go ahead and open up from the outbox the student data files, unit B, B1. Open the book to page 32. It says um, to save the selection. Um, we're not going to save anything as step one, but we are going to click the rectangular marquee on the toolbar. It's the second tool down. If you click and hold, you will get the rectangular marquee and you can place the crosshair, see the little crosshair, on the top left corner and drag to the bottom right corner and make a selection, you're making a selection, and then you're going to go to the top move tool and you're going to click on it and you're going to move your selection to the right hand side balloon to place it in the correct position. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because I can't even make it perfect myself. So go ahead and do the best you can to get it in the selection and then you see the little marching ants. You're going to click Control D to deselect it. And you're going to um, look at the next piece right here. And you see that it's two connecting pieces. So again, you're going to get the rectangular marquee tool. And up here on the right below the menu bar, you can see that you can click the second one, which is to add on to the selection. So we're going to add on to the selection. We're going to put the cross hair on the top left. We're going to drag it to the bottom right of the top box. And we're going to let go, and then we're going to stop Start at the bottom right box and go to the top left. Okay, now it's one piece. And we're going to take the move tool and we're going to move it into the balloon. I'm going to speed up here. Um, control D every time. Deselect. And next, I'm going to make the rectangular marquee right here around the whole box and notice that there's a hole in it. Okay. Um, then it says to hold the Alt key and select the white inner box. That is um, step five. So hold down the Alt key, and you'll see a little minus sign. You can minus out that inner box. And then you can get the Move tool, and isn't that cool? It leaves the opening. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is you are going to Go to the Marquee tool, and you're going to click and hold and get the elliptical marquee. And you're going to place the crosshair on that white dot in the center. And you're going to hold Alt-Shift. And you're going to drag the circle out to the edge. Okay, and you're going to get a nice circle. Okay, um, if that happens, just control D and try one more time. You're going to start at the center. You're going to hold Alt Shift 
and you're going to drag it out and you're going to let go of the mouse first and then alt shift and you're going to get the move tool and you're going to move this to the right this is going to be a long video if I don't speed it up. Step five, um, it says to use the um, lasso tool. And I find the lasso tool very hard to use. Um, so you can try it if you want. Um, always make sure that your um, selection is deselected after you move each piece or you're going to have a problem. See how difficult this is to do like this? Okay, um, I'm not fond of this method, but you can do it if you want. And um, then what you do is you hold, um, you hold shift to add on a section. So say we were going to add this on because we're now making a better selection here closer to the edge. Um, I, oops, see, I find this so frustrating, and then you would add it in like that. And then I have to go around and subtract this out by holding um, Alt, and you see the minus right there, and then you would minus this little piece out here like this. It would take us an awful long time to do this. So I'm going to use a different tool, but that's an option for you um, when you're doing your own work making selection. So I'm just going to control D and I'm going to go back to the lasso and I'm going to use um, the magnetic lasso tool because it's much faster and easy. You just click here and um, click, go along the edge, see how it just hugs the edge of your shape. You can't do this with all shapes, but this one works fairly well with this. Okay, just make sure that as you're going around, you make frequent little stops, points. Okay, you're making little points. And again, this is the magnetic lasso. It's much faster to use. And you'll probably get a little less frustrated like I did when I did this. These are all good tools. Um, we've made selections for our pop art. We've um, used the magic wand, I believe. We used the masking tool, um, quick mask. We use the quick selection tool. And then when you get to this point and you see the little zero when you're overlapping the connection point, then you click it and it becomes a selection. Then it's easily moved with the move tool into position. Um, let's place it right up here. And again, you notice that mine is not perfect. I'm not expecting yours to be perfect. Just that you try all the selection tools. Go ahead and control D. And now we're going to use the um, magnetic lasso tool again. Um, no, we're going to use the polygonal lasso tool. Sorry, we're going to use the polygonal lasso tool this time, and it's really easy. You're going to click and drag, and it drags perfect straight lines. See how many straight lines? So again, this is the polygonal lasso tool, and this is quick and easy. Just go around your shape, okay? Try to be as accurate as possible. I'm going a little quick. 
Notice there's a little zero again, and I'm going to click, and it connects all the points. I'm going to get the Move tool. I'm going to move it over to the right and up into position. Okay. And I'm going to Control D, do select it, and now I'm at my last shape. And um, they would like you to use the magic wand tool. And it says, um, so we know where the magic wand tool is, right? It's right underneath the quick selection tool, it's the magic wand tool. And they would like you on the options bar. They would like you to set the tolerance to 8 and verify that the anti-alias and contiguous boxes are both checked. So we're going to make this tolerance to 8. And we're going to make sure that these are both checked. There we go. And we're going to click anywhere in the white area that represents the missing piece of puzzle. Then compare your selection to B5. We're going to come over here. And we're going to click. Float over the area so the magic wand changes to white arrows and drag the marquee to align it with piece, piece 7 on the left canvas and then get the move tool. So we're going to click and hold and we're going to drag this over here right on our piece. Wow, that was way easier. And then we're going to get the move tool. Now that it's selected perfect, we're going to get the move tool. And we're going to move this right in. And you're wondering why we didn't do that before. Because they want us to learn the tools. Okay, voila. Now we are going to save this. Um, always control D. Do select to get rid of those marching ants around your selection. We're going to go file, save as, and you're going to um, just Click in between B1 and PS, and you're going to put your last name, underscore, make sure it says B1, and make sure where you save it is you save it in the inbox, okay, in Unit B, in your appropriate class period, and you're going to, I'm going to save mine at your desktop, though. Okay, and make sure that you save it as JPEG, the top JPEG, please, and then save. And um, option quality, 8 is fine. This is just an exercise. I just want to make sure that you um, learned how to move the pieces to the right. Thank you very much.